guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha, and on today's video, I decided to try out the new Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. This is what she looks like right here. This foundation retails for $40 and it comes with only 32 shades. That's the whole problem behind this foundation. I'll get into that later on in the video but yeah you guys today we're gonna be trying this foundation out wearing it throughout the day and seeing how it wears on oily skin i have really oily skin if you're new to my channel i have texture pores all that good stuff i have it so we're gonna be seeing how this looks on my skin but yeah you guys this is what today's video is all about if you guys are new i also have my shade reference in the description box below for other foundations to help you guys out on this foundation i picked out the 3.35 hopefully it's a good match and also i have a foundation playlist with other foundations i have tried out i'll have it here for you guys so you guys can go check it out if you're interested but without further ado you guys let's just go ahead and try this foundation out okay so i went ahead and zoomed the camera in today we're going to be trying out this foundation out i got this yesterday and i ordered it like two days ago this barely came out this week and i was so surprised when i got it in the mail i bought this from sephora for only 40 dollars which is honestly expensive in my opinion but if it works it works um i'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys the description on this foundation on my phone first things first you guys i'm just gonna say it this foundation range sucks it only comes with 32 shades which okay i see it could be good but for some reason you guys it decided to launch like a bunch of medium shades like light to medium shades not even too light and not too dark it's like light to medium that's pretty much all they launch and then a couple of dark shades as you guys can see right here and you know it's a problem you guys when my foundation is almost in the last row mine is literally this one right here it's in the shade 3.35 and it's pretty much like one row down and that's it you guys like the owner is latina and I don't know if she was thinking but latinas come in really light shades and in really dark shades so i don't know what she was thinking with that i don't know where she was going with that um i'm kind of disappointed in that because being a latina she should know that there's like deeper latinas and lighter latinas we come in all shades so i don't know what she was thinking with that so i'm really disappointed especially with my shade it's almost in the last row like that's a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys the description on this foundation. This claims to be a full coverage foundation. Um, it's The finish is matte, which I'm excited to try out. It's a weightless liquid whip foundation with multi-dimensional velveteen matte finish that wears up to 24 hours. So this foundation just claims to be really light and it just looks like your skin but better in full coverage and matte. So this claims to be a really good foundation. So all of that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and try this foundation out. Finally, like I always do, I'm going to prime one side with primer and then the other side with no primer. So I'm going to be using on this side the new, or not new, but the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming um, Primer. This primer, you guys, if you have oily skin, works wonders. Thank you for whoever recommended me this primer. I've been using it for the past week and it works, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on this side of the face all right just like that we're prime and matte and the other side we're just gonna leave it like that today it's actually gonna be really hot here so i'm excited to try this foundation and actually like see if it works and it says it lasts for 24 hours we're not really gonna try for that long but we're gonna try for a long time so like i said i picked out this shade in 3.35 this is described as a medium undertone i believe or a medium foundation with warm yellow undertones that's it is how it's described in the sephora website it comes with a little lock on the back to pour in the foundation and it also comes with little instructions here in the back honestly you guys this foundation would have been such a hit from the beginning like way more successful if like i'm not saying it's not but if they came with more shades because look at this packaging you guys this is so different and new and just exciting i really like the packaging so it says to hoard it ugh. So it says to hold it in a 45 degree angle and then you just go in and you dip your beauty blender in and you pat it in. So I guess this is like the whole purpose behind this foundation is for you not to put it in the back of your hand. So this is really interesting and I'm excited to try it out. Let's see you guys. Hopefully this is a good shade for me. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna use two pumps and that's what it looks like right here. So we're gonna go in with the beauty blender. And apply this on my face. 
this is an actually really good match for me you guys and you just hold it like this and just go in just like that so i like the packaging so far so this is what it's looking like with one layer it doesn't really look that matte to be honest with you guys maybe because it's still drying so we're gonna see how it looks once it's dried and we're gonna continue with this other side i'm gonna use a brush i'm gonna use the morphe y6 brush for this other side and again a little 45 degree angle i'm gonna use like three pumps and with, since it's a brush, I'm gonna dot it first and then go in. All right, and this is what this side looks like with a brush. What do you guys think? Let me compare them. I feel like they both look like a medium coverage right now. I don't know if you guys can see, you can still see my imperfections on my cheeks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with another layer. With the brush, I didn't use as much product, you guys. This is like a liquidy foundation, but not too liquidy. It's like creamy, liquidy. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But with the brush, I use less product. And with the beauty blender, like always, I use a little bit more product. But I still like to go in with a second layer with the um, beauty blender because it's go in it goes in less cakey which they do claim this foundation is really natural looking on the skin and i do agree to it so let me go ahead and apply another layer on my cheeks all right you guys so this is what the foundation looks like with two layers and what do you guys think i can still see a little bit of imperfections but it's nothing that bad with a little bit of concealer everything goes on well but yeah you guys i feel like this foundation is a medium to full coverage at the beginning i like how it has a lock to close it um let me go ahead and just clean this really fast and see if it's easy to clean i feel like the only part that's not easy to clean is this little corner right here inside that's gonna be the hardest part to clean but other than that you guys look it's clean one more time so i like the packaging i actually really love the packaging the color i feel like it's a little bit too light for me a little bit too light for me but right now i'm gonna go ahead and conceal my under eyes <laughs> i'm gonna use the tarte creaseless concealer in the shade medium i got a little sample when i ordered this foundation so i'm gonna use this let's see how the concealer goes on and then I'm gonna mix in my ColourPop concealer because I really like this concealer a lot. And of course, I'm gonna blend it with the same Beauty Blender. All right, just like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bake my face and then set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And for my under eyes, I'm using the Huda Beauty, what is this called, Easy Bake Loose Powder. So I'm gonna go ahead, do that. Then I'm, of course, I'm gonna contour my face, finish up the rest of my makeup, and then we should be right back, you guys, to see how everything looks. All right, you guys, so I am back. This is how my makeup looks like. Honestly, I am loving it. Something I do have to say, with the mattifying primer, I feel like you can see my imperfections 10 times more. So I don't think this foundation works with that primer. But then the other side with no primer, you guys, it looks amazing like you can't see any pores everything looks really smooth so I really like this foundation so far like it looks pretty airbrushed it looks way better without a primer than with the primer which I'm really surprised about but yeah you guys those are the little observations I noticed so far it is 12 28 so pretty much 12 30 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and of course wear this throughout my day see if anything changes see if anything happens and actually see if it's worth our money or not so far for the shade I feel like it's a little bit too light we're gonna see when i go outside but yeah you guys i feel like i'm 3.5 or 3.6 because this is looking a little bit too light for me but yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead wear this throughout my day and i should see you guys in a couple of hours okay, so i am back it is officially 8 12 as you guys can see right there on my phone you guys this foundation has been on for almost eight hours i believe and i'm honestly super impressed how everything's looking like um if i'm comparing both sides with primer and without a primer i can definitely tell you guys that i like this foundation a lot better without the becca primer because for some reason i have so much texture right here under my eyes and that never happened and it has to be because the primer
primer and the foundation just do not get along together so i'm definitely gonna keep trying this foundation out with other primers but for not having a primer on this side it's looking pretty good um the foundation is trying to come off a little bit right here just in my texture areas it's looking kind of funky but other than that you guys this is looks pretty good i mean of course i'm oily and stuff but i was outside you guys by this um by the pool i was laying down and it was super hot you guys and my makeup looks pretty damn good in my opinion i'm definitely gonna keep using this foundation because i really like how it applies i like how it looks i like how it makes my skin look really airbrushed and just really smooth and nice i'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick another shade up so i'm gonna return this shade and order a new one like i said i'm 3.35 but i honestly believe i'm a 3.5 or a 3.6 so i'm definitely gonna go exchange it for another shade but that's like the problem you guys because my shades already is in almost the last row there's one more row and that's it and i'm honestly you guys pretty pale like i'm not the lightest but i'm not the darkest like i'm like a medium yellowy tone but yeah you guys pretty much all i have to say on today's video overall i really like this foundation and i love um how it looks on my skin it is really good for oily skin people out there like myself i'm definitely gonna keep trying it out and seeing what primers work better with this but so far without a primer it looks pretty amazing all that being said i hope you all are having a wonderful day or night wherever you guys are watching this video thank you so much for taking time of your day once again to have some beauty talk with me and i'll just see you guys on my next video bye guys